YouTube. It is your homeboy Seth Martial Art Fitness. I am in a field. I don't know what this is. I am in a martial art E. Um, basically, it's something what martial arts use to practice in to help the training where they don't run or where they're closed. Um, but, and about that today, we're going to do some, you know, do some comparison what I modified over the years in martial arts training in uh, karate, taekwondo. I modified their blocking system. Um, I, I changed the blocking system up a little bit into my training. Um, I sometimes I still when I mean sometimes I'll still wind up the the blocks. Well, the reason why sometimes the the traditional martial arts still have their hand up, you know, execute execute the block at a 45 angle degree and it's more out towards the outer rim of the head. Well the reason why they ain't the reason why they wind up is where they gonna work on the form of the technique. That is a high block at a 45 degree angle. And it's above your head. Other side. Now, my modified version of doing the block is it's the same thing. The same type of way, but you just don't have that wind up. You don't have that wind up when you're doing it. It's, it's basically you have your hand up to protect yourself, but you're still doing the motion. Same thing on the other side. And it's the same thing when you're doing a block, the downward block. When you're, when you're winding up, this is when they wind up, you have one hand down underneath your arm, one hand like you're answering the telephone. You go down, and you stop over your knee. Kind of like making a, a sweeping motion. You just stop over your knee. This is a traditional way. Blocking kicks or blocking the knees. Other side. Now, when you 
you're doing the inner inner block, when you're doing the inner block of uh, karate, taekwondo, um, hapkido, um, any type of Japanese or Korean martial arts, basically they want to start off with winding up, like kind of like have a fist by the elbow and then they'll have their hand up like they're answering the telephone and when they do that they'll rotate their hip while they're bringing this hand forward to do the block the inner block blocking right here in the middle part of the forearm you'll end up stretching back your other hand back onto your hip Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Now, now, if you want to compare the modern day blocking, it's more like one. It's move. You don't do the wide motion like traditional. Um, you just do this. It's kind of like uh, slapping a hand out of the way or when somebody's trying to grab you, trying to uh, come on slapping the hand, you know, trying to get that hand out of the way. But it's something like that, but except you're having your fist closed. Fifteen, sixteen, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, on how to do the outer block, usually it all depends. Usually, um, just like that. It's kind of like doing the inner, except you're just bringing it out. There you have it on that one. Um, another one for the inner. This is slapping. You don't have to go too far on it. It's not like pushing, pushing the attacker's hand down. It's just moving it out of the way. You don't have to do a tremendous slap. Our 
side. Same thing with the outer. It is Other side. Same thing going down, except they're making a knife hand, kind of a knife hand block downward. Same thing how we're doing it with the over the knee, you just do it open hand. I'm not going to get into a whole workout on that, um, but it's kind of little, some basic drills on defense, and um, when somebody's attacking you and everything else, and um, it's just modifying it over the years, uh, switching it up to different tactics. Um, now, if you're into bossing, bossing is more like up, up, using the elbows to block the inside, elbows on the inside, slap, slap, high block, blocking, uh, blocking, catching the uppercuts. And that has basically Block, boxing defense there. Um, so, a little bit of boxing defense, a little bit of karate, taekwondo defense, um, traditional way and non traditional way of fighting. Um, train hard, train smart, do your research, learn how to do the techniques. And I'm gonna say, take your time if you're a beginner. Uh, training in martial arts does not take overnight. Um, and it's a lifelong journey. Um, anybody can do it. I'm doing it. I have rods in my back. I have club feet. And it's helped me out, you know, through all my years of training, through all my days, you know, when I feel like I couldn't get up out of bed. And martial arts is what's helped me to encourage to have the strength to keep going. In, in life and it, it is a journey in itself and martial arts is not about promoting health but also it's about promoting good character and moral aspects of yourself and what you're about and plus to express 
how you feel when you are training. And that, that's the thing. And that's another reason why I love martial arts because it teaches us how to be humble. It teaches us how to be respectful toward others. And, you know, sometimes we tend to see to get off the track where we want to practice the offensive maneuvers in life. But we never want to practice the the defense what life has to offer. You know, this is a balance of yin and yang in itself. And, and um, harmony and um, that's what martial arts teaches us. It's, it's a fine balance in its own way. So I modified my blocking over the years. I think everybody has in some way a form. They just do what works for them. Um, when they do practice martial arts or any type of fighting, um, a lot of people say, "Oh, you don't need a gi to train." Um, you just need your normal clothes and just train. Well, I like to do wear both. You know, if I'm doing traditional practices, like true left like, like I am now, I like to I like to wear my because it brings me back to how I train into the martial arts system in itself. Cause that's what warriors train. They train in geese. You know, they don't just train in Rather closed, you know, they train in some type of uniform, and that's what the Chinese and the eight that's what Asians, the Asian culture believe the uniform gives them respect of what, what art they study, and that master and it shows respect to the teacher on um, where their art came from, and that's the reason why, um, when people were present the gi in martial arts is because you know people use it to have as a tool to work out in and um, to have something to train in instead of just training in normal clothing like how everybody else does and yeah you can't wear you know in a street fight you can't wear a gi you know in a street fight you know you can't just walk up on the street you know every day you know, casualty, clothing. Well, you can, but, you know, that's a good way of getting attacked. But, um, but, you know, if you're, like, walking down the street, you just got done going from your dojo training, or walking down the street, and you're eating, you didn't feel like changing or anything. And, well, your martial arts is what, um, helps. helps uh, protect yourself. That's the reason why I wanted to kind of like teach my way of blocking system in my style of Jeet Kune Kwan. Um, it's more, my style is more of like um, two striking, two striking arts. Um, it has the boxing and um, it has the uh, Kenpo Karate in it. Um, all the all the karate styles in it, actually, I should say. Um, and then the Kwan is from my Taekwondo. So um, I don't know yet. I was thinking about calling it Jeet Kwan, Jeet Kim Kwan Do, but my way is not having no way. Um, martial arts and it fits in with any system out there it could fit in with traditional traditional martial arts it could fit in with MMA it could fit in with boxing it could fit in with karate it could fit in with taekwondo um, that's the reason why over the years when I did study taekwondo and karate um, mainly taekwondo but the instructor in taekwondo did karate and he took me off on the side and taught me his karate. And um, so I fell in love with it ever since. And it stayed with me, but I still call my system on my YouTube channel, 
Taekwondo as a form of Taekwondo, but taught in a karate manner. And, um, because I was really, back in the day, I was really trying to make up my own system or what I already knew. And how I trained when I was a kid in boxing. And plus, combined it in with karate, Taekwondo, and a lot of other arts in itself that I was learning from a lot of other people too on the side and um, just about fighting and so you know I learned from everybody I learned from anybody I didn't learn on YouTube so um, on this platform of YouTube and that's where I get most of my knowledge at now and it's from YouTube and just getting up and training and experiment experiment with it and um it's like Bruce Lee said uh to that one guy off of the way of the dragon you know doesn't matter what style you study you take if it is useful for defending yourself you have the opportunity to defend or use that system no matter where it comes from to defend yourself with and he does make sense and it doesn't matter which style you study you know you'd be a one-handed one-handed cripple and still um one-armed person and still do martial arts i even made a system of that into my training and what well, like a long long time ago i was developing the one-arm system of fighting and and that's what I, what I was trying to do back in the day because and then my instructor, he was impressed at the time. He was like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm, I'm going to try to fight with my arm. And that's what I told him. And I said, because if you lose an arm in the battle or in a fight, then you have your other arm to fight with and you need to learn how, how to train. In that circumstances or in that environment, and so I learned to adapt to different ways of training. So that's the reason why I want to show you my way of blocking, my way of self-defense blocking. Um, very simple to direct, kind of like the Jikundo Jikundo approach, but mine is uh, Jikunquan approach. So there you have it. Train hard, train smart, please the like down, hit, hit the like down below, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification. And when I say it, train hard, train smart, strike first, but also do good, don't do bad. Do good, don't do bad. So, there you have it, Seth Marshall Art Fitness, and I say it. Always be yourself, be who you are and what you're about. Don't care what other people think. Keep doing your, whatever you're doing in your training and your workouts. But always try to improve. Peace.